you're always healing. Your body is, every day, is healing. In Chinese medicine, there's what we call an organ clock. So every two hours, actually a different part of your body, a different system, energy system, is using more energy and healing and processing. And, you know, it, it's, it's energizing itself. It's reju rejuvenating itself by making enzymes. It's regenerating new cells if there's room to do that or clearing the space, cleansing the tissue to make space for that regeneration if not. Uh, and, and balancing, communicating, coordinating with other systems. So all of those different processes are happening to some degree all the time. It's when there's a blockage, an impediment, a, a lack of something you need, or too much of something you don't need, that keeps your body from fulfilling whatever mission it's on. And the mission it's on has to do with the mission that you're on. If you start exercising more, you're going to be calling on different systems. That's going to bring in different needs, different blockages that, that are... The, the limits to what you can achieve. And so as you think differently, move differently, act differently, use different systems, you call on different, uh, different abilities and run into different needs for your healing process. So you're really in control. You're in charge of that. Uh, and it, so ideally, you want to be able to use all of your systems, all of our abilities, you know, in order to grow and develop as, as beings, we need to access and use our whole self. Ideally, we want to be able to use all of those systems in an integrated way at the same time, simultaneously integrated. And when that's happening, then your body, can, your body mind, and spirit can work together better and, they, and you can heal faster. So what our job is, is to interpret what your body is is trying to do uh, to communicate with you, with your mind, to receive communication, to receive communication on a spiritual level of what it is you're trying to achieve in your life and where the blockages are. And you don't always know yourself. We, we don't always see ourselves. We see ourselves from a certain perspective. Other people see us from their own perspective, and we see different aspects of what's happening. So we put all that together into one comprehensive program to support, again, the body, the mind, and the spirit with physical materials like nutrients, herbs, uh, with, with energy in the form of electromagnetic healing energies, light and color, for example, uh, in terms of information, like, say, an affirmation, a thought form that's a key aspect to, to healing sometimes, or, or flower essences and homeopathics that also carry the information. Uh, and, and even deeper levels on like an epigenetic level where the, the genes can be turned on and turned off. We have genetic conditions that may be inherited even that we've seen reverse because you know when the person was younger, they had the same genes but the disease was not expressing. Disease or dis-ease means there's a lack of function. If that function was there before and we can change the conditions uh, around those cells, the cells can change their function because, the, again, the epigenetics determines which genes are turned on and which genes are turned off. So there's always hope for improvement. Uh, and by balancing and supporting and, and stimulating body functions, getting more of the system working in a coherent, cohesive way, so instead of, you know, your liver's working on this toxin over here, and the kidneys are stuck with these heavy metals over there, and the heart's having to work harder because the kidneys are jammed up, and because the liver's backed up, then, you know, your brain isn't working as efficiently because there's an electrical polarity relationship there. The body's very complex. What we want to do is help you simplify its function so it's all working together at the same time, more efficiently.